He was receiving his first food package. We were already preparing for it in the middle of February. And he says, Rabbi, do something. She writes, we sat down, we're going. He says, Around us capture the cruel and harsh reality that Russia's invasion has always The European Union will always stand for peace, for peace with human dignity, with freedom, and with justice. And that is why until that day comes, until Ukrainian territory and integrity is respected, we must continue to stand united with Ukraine. And we must keep up our support to Ukrainians who need us and who are fighting for the values that we share. Rabbi Raphael Rutman from Kiev, Ukraine. This is an exhibition um, showing some of the work of the Federation of Jewish Communities of Ukraine that has been done in partnership with the European Commission. Um, thousands of evacuations, distribution of food, medication, uh, hygiene products to over 100,000 homes around Ukraine to elderly, sick people. We're focused on helping people in difficult times. Jewish people and non-Jewish people, everybody in the country that's suffering in, in, in different ways. Our job is to try and help alleviate the suffering as much as possible. Well, I think uh, what you have seen today at this exhibition uh, shows uh, how human nature is and how precious human nature can be in saving one another. And so the European Union will continue to help anyone on the ground, anyone who, can, who we can reach. But for that we need uh, partners like uh, the Jewish Federation of Ukraine who can reach out to the people, who are there for the people every day. As you have seen, uh, we have provided over 68 billion euros in help uh, to Ukraine. This is the European institutions uh, from our budget, from the EU budget, and the member states all together. I lost some weight, so I'm not Can you look here? Yeah, thanks. Uh, today, the uh, Federation of European Union of Ukraine, uh, in cooperation with the European Commission, organized a visitor про те, що зроблено протягом 14 місяців Федерацію за підтримки Європейської комісії. Це гуманітарна допомога людям, які опинилися в надзвичайно складній ситуації в Києві, в околицях Києва, це Буча, Ірпінь, Гостоміль, Бородянка. Більше ніж 40 тисяч осіб. Це, це в перші буквально дні і тижні. Завдяки такій допомозі персональній от, врятовані життя, люди, от, комісари, Європ... президент Європейської комісії, вони також відчули, от, коли вони це побачили, коли вони почули ці історії з перших уст, вони також відчувають, що от, їхня особиста підтримка, вона потрібна, вона е, змінює життя е, простих людей і рятує, і рятує життя. І це надихає на подальші кроки. Дякую вам, пане Сергій.